Hello and welcome here. It was teased during the Elseworlds crossover that John Diggle might take up the role of Green Lantern. He found a box with glowing green light, that fans easily took the hints with. Diggle called it Galactic Destiny. For years, fans theorized that Diggle could actually be Green Lantern Corps member Jon Stewart, and it's something Arrow started playing into. It was eventually revealed that Diggle's stepfather was Roy Stewart, and during the Elseworlds crossover, the Earth-90 version of The Flash mentioned that the vigilante wasn't wearing his ring. By the time Arrow's series finale rolled around, the CW fully committed to that by having Diggle discover a box that crashed to Earth that, when opened, glowed green. Diggle has been transforming himself into several roles. Recently, fans saw him take up the role of Bass Reeves in the DC's Legends of Tomorrow episode Stressed Western which he also directed, and before that, he reprised his role as John Diggle to pay a brief visit to Gotham in Batwoman. Now he has arrived in Central City as well to help Team Flash while they are dealing with the Godspeed War after an army of Godspeeds attacked last week and another army of Godspeeds showed up soon after and attacked the first one. But while Diggle is there to help, he's also got his own issue he's dealing with, one that has to do with his reaction to a certain glowing green box and what Ramsey calls Diggle's galactic destiny. The box that Diggle found containing a ring belonging to the Green Lantern Corps is a given, but actor David Ramsey has taken to his Instagram account to show fans what was really inside the box and it is a glowing green cube. In order to achieve the desired effect, a prop like that was essential, and it's not exactly surprising that there wasn't an actual Green Lantern ring in there. With Ramsey expected to have a recurring role in Superman and Lois, it's there we're expecting to see Diggle's superhero transformation. While giving an interview to Comic Book, David Ramsey said, Obviously he has the deepest history with Flash because he knows all the characters on Flash. So, every time he appears on these shows, he fits within the storytelling of that specific episode. But he's kind of hiding something in his back pocket. And we started telling that on Batwoman. They kind of have these headaches that he's kind of there to see a doctor. Ultimately, what he saw in the box, he declined the invitation to. That decision has consequences. And we start telling ultimately, his cosmic destiny if you will, his kind of galactic destiny if you will. We begin to tell the consequences of denying that through this kind of crossover that we're doing. The deepest I would say would be Flash. We really do visually and within the story, tell what Diggle's going through on Flash. Eventually, he will have to take up the role. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. See you soon.